Got us a little fire started. It's pork butt day. Pulled pork. Oh yeah. Is that funny? Yeah. Pork butt. Pork butt. We got our pork butt. Uh, it was the saddest pork butt I've ever seen, so I had to butcher twine it together. But brined in uh, my normal brine. Third cup uh, brown sugar. Third cup salt. Third cup apple cider vinegar. Six cups of water, and then you can add whatever else you want to it. Uh, I did add some uh, barbecue sauce and some barbecue seasoning to uh, try to start it from the inside out barbecue. Um, so it brined and then I rubbed it in mustard and I rubbed it in my own uh, blend barbecue seasoning. Uh, I like a little sweeter barbecue. Some of the ones you buy from the stores can be uh, really salty. So I like to avoid store-bought barbecue blends unless you've tried it and you know it's not salty. As, so, as always, pushed all my fire over to one side so that way I have a little little hot zone right here. That's gotta be two, 225. Uh, so we'll check in in, uh, I don't know, probably about an hour. Well, we're about an hour in. Uh, new, new piece of cherry, new-ish piece of cherry. Threw a little log over yonder, keep some smoke running over the meat because again my smoke's going this way. But that's okay because it's blowing most of my heat that way too and I can use it to my advantage. So yeah, a couple more pieces of cherry about an hour in. Just starting to get a little, a little color and drying out. So that's, uh, that's about right. I figured it's going to take at least two hours until I get... Uh, until I get some good color on it. So, uh, low and slow, man. Oh, well, we're, uh, I didn't even look at the time. Probably an hour and a half in. Got the, got her moved around, control the heat a little bit better. Got the big side of the butt toward the fire there. Keep her covered up, keep a better heat on it. And uh, that's where we're at, about an hour and a half in. Nice and slow. I'm figuring it's going to take about uh, five hours. Somewhere around there. So we're almost two hours in. Uh, still nice little really hot fire. Uh, I did give her a flip. We flipped her over already. So uh, cover back up and let her keep rolling. Got a Got at least another hour before I even worry about sticking our thermometer in it. Again, we're gonna shoot for about 160 and then wrap it and then uh, just keep putting the heat to it. Try to shoot for about 195 internal for uh, pulling our poke. Also, just an FYI, I'm pretty sure this was a three pound pork butt. Pretty sure. Three, three and a half. Something like that, but like I said, it was a sad little pork butt. It wasn't a, it wasn't a whole round, you know, like smack a butt type butt. It was in pieces, so I ended up having to butcher twine it together. So should still pull the same. We're gonna pull that butt. Pull that butt. Just about right on time. We're uh, two hours in. You can see this little spot right here. That's some drippings from all butt. <laughs> all butts dripping. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus. I'm not even drinking today. So our butts dripping. <laughs> oh, our butts dripping, so that's good. Uh, we're about two hours in, that's about right. This is how skinny my fire got down to. It, it's pretty, pretty bad, so I'm gonna go get me another little cherry log and throw her on there and get this heat going back again uh, it's still real hot though I got good heat um, I'm actually gonna slide this guy back a little bit here and that's how I've been cooking her I do have my little vent hole on this side and I got another one here that's helping draw that smoke across everything so go get me a little piece of wood and <laughs> throw it a butt dripping <laughs> I'm going to probe my butt. <laughs> that guy right down in the middle there. What we got? That's not doing too bad. 144. That's better than I thought it'd be. 
so like I said, for our initial, we're shooting for 160. And then our butt's going to get wrapped. But we gave this drippy butt a, uh, we gave it a flipping. We're up to 145, so we're 15 away from our 160 wrap. And uh, yeah, so we're going to let her hang out right like this. Once this guy goes off, she's going to get a double wrap in aluminum foil and go right back where it's at. So we are three hours in right now for this three, three and a half pound pork butt. But we are 151, so we're getting real close to our 160 wrap. We're gonna let this guy cruise those last nine degrees. Got a, I kind of kicked the heat to it pretty good. Built up a nice little fire and got everything a little closer. I got uh, real good heat here now. So uh, I'm probably up around 275, but it was going a little slow. I think I had my heat a little low to start, but uh, you got to uh, adapt and overcome when it comes to cooking on fire, baby. We got our drippy butt almost ready to wrap. We're 154. We're getting real close to our point, our wrap, wrap temperature here. So I put on a nice, uh, three nice logs here. Try to get the fire stoked back up, get it nice and hot. Uh, Cause we're gonna try to finish this guy a little quicker than what it's cooked. Cause I'm obviously a little low on my heat cause it should have been done by now. So uh, I'm probably about 30 minutes off on my heat. So I'm probably, you know, maybe 20, 25 degrees low of that, uh, that 240-ish. So I'm probably at like 200, if that. So adapt and overcome. Get this fire stoked up nice and hot. And uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap. At 154, I'm going to call that close enough to 160. We're going to wrap this guy and keep all that butt juice. Give me your butt juice. Well, we're all wrapped up. Pardon the noise. Somebody's building deck, making a bunch of noise. Um, the second I wrapped it, it went from 156 up to 178. So, not sure what's up with that. I'm guessing the probe's just not in a real good spot, but uh, I still kept it in there. Essentially, I'm just gonna check it at 190. See how close we are to being able to pull that pork and uh, we'll go from there so we'll see what happens so this is one of those things I moved my probe and found the coldest spot and it's actually only 153 so that's interesting again it could be a probe thing here could have an issue with the probe but uh anywho about 30 ish degrees or so and we'll be uh We'll be good to go, so might be time for a new thermomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomen
So we're gonna hammer the heat to this guy because as you saw, it did not want to pull yet. So I don't know if that's a temperature issue with the fact that this butt was really sad and I had to butcher twine it together. So maybe I didn't get a real consistent temperature. Maybe it was 190 and not the right spot. So I just set this guy on the coals and finish it off. We'll get it to pull one way or another. Adapt and overcome, baby. So I got a little volcano top right here in the middle. I poured a little apple juice down in there. And uh, I'm just gonna cook the living beep out of this. I'm gonna get that pork to pull, son. Damn thermometer. We's gonna try, wait buddy, video. We's gonna try pulling our pork the second time. So it took about an extra 20 minutes on the fire and the big wolverine claws didn't do it justice. They were just too big, but they're pretty awesome. But uh, it pulled really nice, and uh, yeah, we're just waiting to sauce it and get all of our sides back warmed up since we screwed our time up, but tis what it is, we still gonna eat good. All so still. So, I don't do, uh, I've thought about it. I don't wanna do bite videos. If you want to watch me eat food, then you're a weirdo. Just make the food that I made and eat it yourself. It's pretty awesome. Even when you screw up. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>